Hello again, everybody, and welcome back once again to the Spelunky Daily Challenge. <sighs> Sorry, I feel all refreshed. I just... My hair is getting long enough that... It can get really... Oh man, it's the daily. I need to remember to pick up gold and stuff. Um, it can be really... Like, overly frustrating sometimes. Just existing. Because it's... There's a lot of it. All this trouble to get this rock to throw this thing from the other side so I don't get myself hurt and I get myself hurt. Anyways. My hair was really bugging me. And I put it in a ponytail and it's all out of my way and it feels glorious. And I changed my shirt because it was too hot. And I opened my door and opened my window and just everything feels refreshing and, and nice and, and good. I'm, I'm happy. Get frickin' whipped a frickin' snake! Okay, we got it. We got it. We're good. Okay, we got it. Alright. <sighs> but yeah, feels good, man. Feels good. Now I just need to play Spelunky. I hate you, I hate you, I hate you, I hate you. <laughs> this daily's not going very well. I I suspect it's not gonna end well. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna bomb for this damsel who's probably gonna die because I just threw that Oh no, we're good. Way too close to his body. It's fine though, we got this. We got this. Got the damsel, gonna be back up to two health. It's gonna be fantastic. <sighs> but yeah, amazing what something like a hair tie can do for your life. Sometimes. Sometimes it's all you need. I do actually still have like a massive headache, but I didn't get a damn thing done yesterday, so I I, I just have to get something done today. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I did get something done yesterday. I got some unlocks on... Hatsune Miku Product Diva F second. <laughs> that's about all I did though. Not gonna lie, it, that's that's literally about all I did. I feel terrible about it. Okay, there we go. Got something right, maybe. Thank you. This is bad. It's bad. I'm bad. This is bad. Sure. Sure. No. But yeah, man, my hair's getting way too freaking long. The problem is, like, especially with, like, when you grow out your hair, especially when you're a girl and you grow out your hair, that's all I can really speak to. I've never been a boy and grown out my hair. There's different different sociological standards and such and all of that that goes with it but um especially when you're a girl of my age when you grow your hair out and it takes like i don't know how many it's been three or four years probably now since i started growing my hair out again i i never cut my hair when i was a kid um like my mom trimmed it but that was like literally it other than trims. Never had my hair cut. Until... High school. And in high school for prom, I got my hair layered. And I literally cried when I did it. Because it was really just like scary and a huge like emotional step and stuff like that. You, it, it sounds really stupid when I'm trying to explain it right now, but... Believe you me when I say there's a whole bunch of psychological and like whatever else stuff that goes into that. But anyways, it takes like three or four years to grow. So basically it's like this huge time investment. So now though, my hair is getting to a point where it's more frustrating <laughs> to me than like it, it it makes me more annoyed more often than it makes me happy, basically. I mean, I don't know, it, it's like pretty some days or something, but most of the time it's just like hot and 
itchy and it gets tangled and I have to brush it a lot because there's a lot of it and it hurts when I brush it. You know, freaking, I sound like a 10 year old right about now. But anyways, <sighs> when I was 18, I cut off all of my hair basically over um, a period of a few years. I went from hair that reached down to my butt and that I'd had and hadn't cut until I went into prom. And then I cut it I cut it down to like just past shoulder length and then shoulder length and then like a inverted bob thing and then like I ended up with like a little tomboy fluffy cut thing and then I had like a, a mohawk a, like a long laying down kind of mohawk not a faux hawk it was a, like a full on shaved side of the head well shaved both sides of the head you know um anyways I went through a lot of changes I went through a lot of haircuts and most of them were incredibly short and somewhat butch and eventually I got to a point where uh, brr, brr, you know, I thought, at the time, I might get married to the guy I was dating. Soon. We'd been together five years. So I thought, you know what, like, if I'm, you know, if, if that's gonna happen in the nearish future, I'm gonna want long hair for that. So I gotta plan ahead. Long story short, that didn't happen. But, um, I have long hair now. <laughs> and it's like, ugh. It's nice, but it's also really irritating a lot of the time. And I just, oh, the problem is when I, when I, when I get depressed or stressed out, one of the first things I want to do is cut off all my hair. And I know that it's just a reaction to being like stressed out and whatever, depressed. Like it's not always, like it's not like, oh, well, it, obviously I should just cut my hair. Like obviously just duh, just cut your hair. Like that you just want to cut your hair, just do it. And it's like, well, you know, it's not always that. It's sometimes it's just you're depressed and you want to have a change, you know, so you reach out and you try to change something. So I am really rambly today. Sorry, yesterday's, yesterday's Spelunky episode, today's Spelunky episode, probably tomorrow's Spelunky episode are all being recorded at the same time. And I'm really rambly. So I apologize in advance for that. Unless you like it. And then uh, you're welcome. But anyways. Yeah, like, it just... So now I'm at this point where my hair is almost as long as it was when I was 18. Which, FYI, was 10 years ago. <laughs> like, my hair is just now almost as long as it was when I cut it all off 10 years ago. And so it's the longest it's been right now. Right now it's the longest it's been in 10 years. And it took me like four years to grow it out this long. I don't, I don't actually remember, like three or four years probably. Time has like no meaning right now for me. But um, I get these urges. I just want to like cut it all off. And I can't because I know like that's not just the kind of thing you just, you can't just do it and then be like, oh, okay, well, I, I, I did, I'm, you know, I changed my mind. I don't actually want to have short hair. I want the long hair back like that. It doesn't work like that. <sighs> so it's one of those things where you just have to kind of like live with it and then like figure out, okay, do I actually really want to cut it all off? And like you have to wait through like multiple emotional changes. And like right now, like I'm, I'm taking medication. I, so I can't really make any like, I would consider that a life decision. Like, because that would actually like, Cutting your hair, it's one of those things where that could actually like trigger depression and stuff like that too. Like if I, if I think, oh, well, no, I just really want to cut my hair. And then if I cut it and then it's like, no, actually that was just like, you know, an emotional thing. And then I regret it. <laughs> like, so yeah, basically I just, I don't know what I want. And I kind of really want to just cut off all my hair. But at the same time, you know, it takes a really long time to grow it. And especially my mom always, she like, she was supportive before when I had it short too, but you know, she prefers it longer, you know? And then it's like, well, I mean, 
I don't plan on getting married anytime soon, but whenever I do want to, I'm gonna want to have long hair. And I'm gonna have to have it like, <laughs> like, so what, I'm gonna have to plan another like three or four years in advance again? Like, I don't, I don't know. It's dumb and I don't know. I'm, I'm sorry guys, this is like legitimate therapy story time right now. <laughs> Which side's the freaking door? I hope this side's the freaking door. This side's the freaking door. Good. It's still the daily. We're still in the daily! Why are we still in the- Oh, well, whatever. I'm really not playing the daily. But we're doing the daily. Long story short, putting my hair in a ponytail today. Even though putting my hair in a ponytail can give me massive headaches as well. It felt really nice. It made me really happy. Like, way happier than it should have. Like, just unreasonably happy. And I wanted to share that with you guys. Because apparently, I'm crazy. Also, I don't know. I just... Ugh. I just... I feel insane sometimes. I feel literally... Like, not to actually... And then I make... I say these things and then I feel bad. Not to actually, you know say anything that would make anyone else feel bad or be like in offensive basically i just feel like mentally unstable literally literally mentally unstable and like i can't i don't understand what's going on in my head sometimes and talking about it helps sometimes even if it's talking to a computer screen that eventually will have a bunch of people listening to me and then I regret it sometimes afterwards. But I hope you guys understand that just sometimes I'm rambly and that's okay, hopefully. I want, I want that, I want that, I want that, I want it. <sighs> now that I have the jetpack, I have no reason not to get it. Sounds like the shopkeeper killed himself. Yeah, he did. Too bad I didn't get a shotgun. I can just get it in the temple if I live that long. What else is making me unreasonably happy lately? But like less psychologically weird to talk about. Oh my god. Mini powdered donuts. Stay with me here. I don't know. I've been going through like super weird cravings lately. And no, I'm not pregnant. But like I've been going through some really really weird like totally random cravings so before i was like addicted to and addicted uh, that's a word i really want to take out of my my vocabulary it has such a bad connotation like the actual definition of it is bad i know the usage that i'm trying to use it in isn't like i'm not trying to use it in a bad way but the word itself is is not good uh have a bomb have two bombs they're for you. It's a present. You don't have to give it back. It's fine. But anyways, I, I, I went through a phase where I was really enjoying to an unreasonable degree. Unreasonable. I'm unreasonable, apparently. Unreasonable is the word of the day. Uh, Wonka shockers. I was really enjoying those a lot. I ate tons, like just just killed my face basically because they're super sour. Oh, hey, hey, that worked out for me. <laughs> no, that did not work out for me. It's fine. Get the corpse. Oh, okay. We'll get the corpse. Um, and after a while, like I still have a bunch of them in my drawer, but I ate so many that now I'm like, oh, my mouth, it remembers. <laughs> So I just, like, I, my mouth cringes when I think about it. So I haven't had any Wonka shockers in a while. What was the other thing? There was something else I was having a whole bunch of. Oh, um, like, smoked almonds. I was really enjoying smoked almonds. Okay, both of those things I haven't eaten in, like, a couple weeks. But lately, all I want is the mini powdered donuts you get at the grocery store. And they're so good. They just, like... Well, yep, you're dead. Um, like, my thing, one of my things, is I don't, I don't mind having junk food or whatever if I enjoy it. 
if I'm actually like thoroughly legitimately enjoying something then I don't see like I don't think it's a big issue uh, comparatively obviously still you know in moderation and all that stuff what the heck man this is a weird weird door location but like for me you know if you're not actually enjoying it then why are you shoving it in your face kind of thing right so so I try to only if I'm gonna eat junk food I try to only eat, like buy or eat, like specifically buy but only buy and eat stuff that I really 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 enjoy or like I'm really like really makes me happy so instead of just buying like a couple chocolate bars at the store because I want chocolate and like eating it and it being all waxy and, and hating myself and, and just regretting it immediately after like I'll go to Purdy's which is uh, like a local semi you know not really expensive but semi expensive chocolate place and I'll go there and I'm, they've got like this deal where you can get like three chocolate bars for five dollars which you know that's that's expensive especially since I don't have any money but if I was gonna go buy some chocolate like I would go there and I would get hi Olmec I would go get three chocolate bars that I will enjoy the heck out of and just like oh like really good feels good tastes good makes me happy I'll go buy that for three for three for five bucks instead of like buying like 20 chocolate bars that you know are kind of passable and and don't make me happy and, and make me regret eating them and all that kind of stuff you know like that's that's kind of how my philosophy is so right now I am the, the enjoyment the sheer enjoyment that I'm getting out of these powdered donuts it's unreasonable unreasonable word of the day it is unreasonable how much pleasure I am taking out of these powdered donuts like it is so good so good like it makes me so happy so I just can't I feel really bad because I know that like I, like I'm trying to lose weight and I'm trying to eat healthier I'm trying to just eat because with my with my medication um, I haven't really been eating well, I mean, even just without the medication, I haven't been eating regularly in a long time. I'm not starving myself, but, um, because I've done that before. But I'm just, uh, I'm nauseous a lot of the time, and when I'm not nauseous, I'm just, I just don't have an appetite. Mostly, that stuff's mostly from the medication. Like, the not having an appetite and stuff. That's that's mostly from the medication. But also, like, the nausea, too. Some of that was from the medication. Some of that's just, like, traveling and whatever. Uh, like, whenever I go to a convention, or even when I just, like, spent the weekend with, like, paws and good and beef and stuff, like, I just got really nauseous. And I think part of it was the medication, but part of it was just, like, just, I don't know, something about travel, something about, like, conventions and stuff. I don't know. Anyways. It's been hard for me to enjoy food. Never mind, just eat it like at all. Eating eating food at all and enjoying it has been difficult. But lately, oh my god, powdered donuts. So good. Like just oh my god. They make me so happy. I can't not eat them. At least, you know. It's not like I'm just like eating them all day or day, but like every couple days I go and I get like one of the little containers. Not one of the giant ones. Get one of the little containers. And I eat it. And it's so good. And I'm so happy. And I just don't know what to do. Because I know that it's bad. And I know that I'm, I'm trying to lose weight. And it's not really the best thing to be eating in the world. I'm just too happy. I, I, I can't not. And I don't usually... I don't know. Like, I, I try to enjoy food, but I, more often than not, I, I would say that I don't enjoy eating. Just because of, like, texture, or pickiness, or nausea, or, um, <laughs> like, just being relatively poor for most of my slash our lives as a family. You know, food, is, a lot of the time, is just sustenance or, like, you know, passably considered sustenance you know so uh, it's stupid it's stupid i'm 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 this was supposed to be less psychological stuff man this was supposed to be the fun thing to talk about anyways we beat olmec 
We won the game. Hi. I... I don't know what to do with myself. I'm trying to record because... I can only record for like four or five hours a day. There's only four or five hours a day that I, I'm physically capable of recording because of noise in the house. And only like four or five days a week. And yesterday I had a super migraine and I couldn't record at all. But right now I'm just like, I'm just letting it all out. And I don't know if that's a good thing. Oh god. I'm gonna go record some more stuff. And uh... Yeah. Have fun with that. <laughs> I don't know. The struggle. The struggle is real. Everything about me right now is just a struggle. I want to record because I want to be productive. But I don't want to like scare you guys away by talking about weird stuff. Like that. Uh, well, I beat the game the easy way, but I still beat it. So that happened. And it was actually a pretty fast run. But anyways, I hope you guys have enjoyed. I guess. Maybe we'll record some other stuff. Hopefully, I'm less verbose. Anyways, I'll see you on the next episode.